When creating materials in Blender, you might have noticed this drop-down next to the material's name. Do you know what it does? Well, it is very useful when sharing meshes among multiple objects. For example, when working with linked duplicates. When we create linked duplicates, because all objects share the same mesh, we can edit one mesh and see it update in all objects. When we try and change the material of a specific object, for example the one in the middle, we face the issue that the material is changed on every linked object. So what this drop-down does is allow us to share the same mesh between multiple objects and have a different material per object. Let's have a look at how it works. Okay, so here is a visual representation of an object that contains a mesh data block. By default, when we create a material, it is linked to the mesh data block. So when we create a linked duplicate or link the mesh data between multiple objects, they will not only share the same mesh, but they will also share the same material. Now let's have a look at an example in Blender. Let's select Suzanne and create a new material. Notice how it is set to link to data. That is, it is linked to the mesh data block. I will make it green. Now let's create a linked duplicate by going to Object, Duplicate Linked. Now let's try and change the material on this object only. For example, by assigning the material from the cube. To do this, select the cube and then drag and drop its material by using the material swatch. As you can see, the material has changed on all the linked duplicates. We can see the relationship between the linked duplicates in the outliner. Notice that when I change the name of one mesh data block in one object, it updates in the other object, because they are sharing the same mesh. Notice that the material is linked to the mesh data block. And when I change its name, it updates in the other object. They are also sharing the material. Okay, so here we have two linked duplicates. In order to have a different material on this object, we first select the object, go to the material properties, and switch to link to object. So now when we create a new material, this material will be linked to the object data block. Notice in the outliner how we now have a new material that is linked to the object data block. We still have the original blue material, which is linked to the mesh data block. Our objects can now be illustrated like this. Because they are linked duplicates, they share the same mesh. They also share the same base material, which is linked to the mesh. In this object, we have created a new material, which is linked to the object. Notice how this mesh is green, even though the base blue material is still linked to the mesh. So now if we drag and drop a new material on a linked duplicate, the new material will be shared among all of the linked duplicates. Notice that on this object, we are still using the material that we linked to the object. However, we can switch between the two. To switch between the materials, you can simply click on the material swatch in the outliner. Or you can use the drop down in the material properties. 
So to recap, create as many linked duplicates as you want. And if you want one object to use a different material, select the object, switch to link to object, and create a new material. You can switch to the shared material simply by clicking on the material swatch in the outliner. All right, I hope this was useful. Object and mesh data blocks are a key aspect of Blender. If you would like to understand how they work, have a look at the Object versus Mesh video on this channel. I am Karim Joseph for Blender Daily. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.